Hello everyone, I will be talking about the beam deflection experiment. Um, in this experimental setup, we have a beam that is supported on two sides. We will be applying a load from the center of the beam, and we will be measuring the deflection of the beam using these dials. Okay, now first of all, we have two different types of supports that we look at, and we can change the support type through these bolts here. So when both of these bolts are unscrewed, then we are looking at a pin support. And if you do the same thing to the other side, we have a pin pin support case, which is your case one. Now when both of these bolts are screwed tightly, we have a fixed support here. And don't forget to do the same to the other side to be able to have a fixed fixed support case. Uh, we will be applying the load through this hanger, but you need to make sure that your hanger is placed directly in the middle of the beam and you can and you should measure the position of your hanger and record the position. Also, before you start, you should look at the positions of each of these dials from this ruler up top and then record the position of each of these dials, which you will be getting the readings from. Now we can actually start our loading. You will have again three 500 gram loads and you will apply them gradually. You will place your load like this one by one and then you will get the readings from here. Let's take a closer look at the dials and how you can get a reading from them. First of all, our dial has a range from 0 to 25 millimeters and it has a resolution of 0.01 millimeters. Now the smaller dial that you see here inside gives you the millimeter. For instance, this reading right here is, let's say, 13 point something millimeters. And to get that something, we look at the larger dial, which we see is around, let's say, 25. So we can say that the initial deflection of this dial is something about 13.25 millimeters. Now, we record this initial reading and when we actually apply a load, we will see this reading change. And then we will record the change reading and obtain the difference between the two readings.